So we have released an API that allows any developer to connect to our print farm and create applications that can use that capacity and our print and ship capability to create apps that were never possible before. But what are some of those apps and what are some apps that we would love to see somebody build? In this video, we're gonna go over a few. The very first app that we hope somebody beats us to is Shopify. There are a lot of 3D printed Shopify stores that are selling 3D printed products and being able to allow those stores to connect to a large print farm to deal with surge demand would be a big benefit to them. If you're the developer, you could create the app and include sales monitoring, any sort of projections, maybe some file prep inside of it, as well as charging the user some type of monthly subscription, or you can add on an extra little fee onto each one of the transactions so that it's free to use your application. Right now, we have an Etsy integration that is built on the version two API that we just released, but we would love some competition. It keeps both of us honest and can create something really, really good for the users. And if you just ask nice, we would even feature you on the YouTube channel alongside of our application, because may the best man win. This is about letting 3D printing be used by people who don't have 3D D printers and let 3D printing businesses scale. We don't care who has the application. A prototyping service. A prototyping service is a really good option for this because of prototyping is quite difficult. You could create a generic online profile that you could advertise to to collect prototyping jobs for FDM and then just port them straight to us. We would print the parts and ship them directly to your customers. In this case, we would recommend doing some pre-file prep or maybe even creating just a portal for you to where they manually submit them to you. You review them, optimize them, maybe put in some manually designed supports and then send those files across to us to make sure that they are as good as they possibly can be. And in fact, you could expand that even more. If you made an application that just prepped 3D models to be 3D printed, make sure they're oriented right, make sure they're coming in the right size, make sure they have some good supports already pre-built in so that they don't need support. That could be an entire application in and of itself that is would be terribly useful because right now, manufacturing evaluation of 3D models is quite lacking across all services. STL generators. If you are making a piece of software that makes like cookie cutters or night lights or wall art or some other option where people are able to upload a photo and then get a 3D model back, you could implement our API so that a normal person could now use your service and then when they want to buy that nightlight themselves, they don't have to own a 3D printer and find filament and figure out how to do it. They can just order the item and just say buy now as soon as the STL appears. We're really excited to see what a few people are doing on this already because we have a couple of software partners who are going to have a few of these STL generators appearing here in just a little while. 3D model repos could also benefit from this. If you have a collection of 3D models, if you are either a designer or a repository that designers submit to, you could effectively add a buy now button to each one of those models. The designer would get a royalty, the repository would get a royalty, and then we would print and ship the item to the final customer. So again, it opens up access to the 3D models, which are, by the way, fantastic products being created out there, but they're restricted to only people who have and want to operate a 3D printer. By connecting to our API, you don't have to worry about the printing and shipping. You're able to just plug your models in. So you're now effectively creating a 3D modeled app that you're running on a 3D printing server. The design of the model itself becomes what iPhone apps were when they first came available. And of course, designers themselves could implement this. They don't necessarily need a repo. If they're a capable developer, they could just connect it to an e-commerce website and then normal people could find their really nifty products. So designers are able to open up their business model from just selling files and then losing them to the internet and instead sell the prints themselves to people who love their Instagram or watch their TikTok or love the things they're creating and can now actually get a hold of it. Here's a deal that I'll make with you. If any of you out there build any of these applications or really build any application on the API, please send it over to us because we would love to feature it on this channel. Showing everybody what can be done with 3D printing is the entire point of this channel and being able to share what you guys are creating with access to giant print farms, we are absolutely happy to do. We're not even gonna bill you a sponsorship fee. So hopefully that gives you a few ideas of some apps that could be really useful and are now enabled by having a giant print farm that you get to call on. You don't have to have a giant print farm yourself. You can just build these applications, call our API, and then a part will be printed and shipped to your customer. So whether you are prepping 3D models, doing prototyping, have a whole design library, or allowing users to create original products on the fly, these are now able to be monetized, expanded, and delivered to so many more people because it's now possible to get scale for free. 
Let us know down in the comments if there's any other types of apps that you think would be really useful now that we have this API release. And do subscribe to this channel for updates about future developments and other products and projects that we're working on. Have a great day, everybody.